Okay, hello everyone. Um, I want to give you a short tour through OpenCast after the Caref patch uh, has gone in. So um, this is current state of develop, and if you have a look at the files and folders that are in the repository right now, you will notice that some of them have changed, and uh, well, some of them are just missing. So. Uh, one thing you probably will notice is that the uh, bin start matterhorn is gone and the work is gone and so on. It's false, but um, yeah, we'll see how that works out in a moment. So one thing that's new is the assembly step. And uh, that is because one really important thing that has changed with Caref is that we uh, removed all of the build profiles that have been there before, but you just compile the whole stack of OpenCast, and after that you assemble the distributions you need. So if we have a look at the uh, main POM XML file, you'll see that, well, we just list the modules we want to compile here. And this is basically all the modules, so uh, we don't care uh, how we stick them together in this. This is just we want to compile it. And so if I run this main pom, it will just uh, launch all the uh, sub modules and compile everything. And if I want to have a new module, I'll just enter uh, it into this list. And after that's done, the uh, sub-pom in the assemblies is called and if you look at <coughs> sorry if you look at this folder you'll notice that there are now a couple of different assemblies and well if you've been uh, with opencast for a while you'll probably notice all of them I mean it's the default all-in-one um, that's used to testing and we have the usual admin uh, worker and presentation uh, presentation is uh, basically what was engaged before so it's just the name changed and um, well uh, we thought presentation might be a bit clearer what it actually is than engage is so the tools is still called engage yeah uh, we might choose to, to change all the documentation about this um, yeah, and then there's uh, an additional package called care of features, which uh, actually uh, is there for uh, internal things for care of. We don't usually need to have a look at that. Yeah, so uh, let's have a look at one of these um, distributions. And since it's the easiest, uh, or well, it's the one you will usually uh, create first. Let's have a look at the all one. Uh, again, in here, we what's most important is that we use uh, a Maven Caref plugin, which actually uh, creates the default distribution for Caref. So we can base our whole structure uh, on that. And some there are two additional uh, plugins which we use. First is the Maven Antron plugin which we use for filtering. So there is, uh, for example, the uh, internal spring security for Caref which conflicts with the one uh, we use. And so we actually comment that out in the build process. And we do that for one or two more files. And yeah, finally, oh, there is the Maven assembly plugin, which then, well, sticks everything together. And um, you've seen before in the list of files, the package XML, if we have a look at that, that's basically where it says, okay, please take those files and stick them together like this. And yeah, we can have a look at this. So again, it's not that hard. So, um, we here have our, our, well, first let's start, we, on the top here, we say, okay, please force the distributions, create a tabal, create a zip file, and create an uncompressed directory, which we can't just run. We'll see that later in this video. 
and um, yeah, then we d define what do we want to stick together. And uh, as I said, assembly plugin uh, already creates uh, a lot of things we need, and uh, the resource plugin I just went over uh, gets in other resources we need, and then we just say, okay, uh, please. Uh, take this files and stick it uh, there and so on. So um, yeah, for example, uh, we have resources we can add in uh, this uh, distribution. So oh, uh, there is actually a set environment uh, file which we will want to deploy from here. Um, we can add other files if we uh, want to, but f actually there's only this one. And yeah, then we say, okay, from the f classes ETC, that's where our defined uh, things from the, the ETC folder in the main directory uh, will end up. And then just uh, so we tell them, okay, please put that into the uh, folder ETC of the uh, ready to go assembly and yeah well you can do as dinner things like setting file modes and so on so uh, yeah that's the whole thing here and we also make sure that for example the start script is not named caref but it's actually named start open cast and so on and so forth so let's leave this one and yeah let's just Compile open cast. So let's head to the main directory um, and we call open cast like we did always. So just maven clean install. And uh, well, one thing that I should mention here is that before you could uh, use minus d all to build the whole project. Well, as you've seen before, we just called the modules now, so yeah, there is no deal anymore because we always build the whole project. And then we had for here uh, before this uh, deploy to where you uh, then could specify a folder. We don't have that either because that was then replaced with uh, assemblies. So well, uh, just, let's just build Opencast for now. Okay, so here we go. Uh, our build was successful. That's great. And uh, well, now let's have a look at what happened. Uh, yeah, basically you see that all the modules, you know, have been built and that additional to these modules all the assemblies have been built this is uh, first of all the care features plugin which as i said before prepares the features we don't have want to have an in-depth look at this uh yeah and then the different distributions and well let's just have a look at the uh, all one distribution so let's switch to assemblies care of this all in one and you will now see that well it's usual if you have a maven build you have a target folder and in this folder you will see uh well here we go with our uh not three distributions it's basically one distribution but packaged as different things so um yeah the tablets probably will get handy if you wanted to publish releases or if you just well want to copy that over to other systems and of course there are the uh, unzipped distribution which you can just execute from here so we'll have a look at this in a moment uh, but all the other stuff uh, well assembly is basically the things that Caref, the Caref plugin stuck together classes is what we got from our um, external resources and so on and uh, well 
Zentron plugins and stock this together into this distribution. So um, if we have a look at the distributions, uh, yeah, this is another subfolder, um, then you kind of get the old structure again. So you notice that we have our bin folder and if we have a look at that, we actually have a bin uh, start opencast. And I talked before about the set and in the project, uh, yeah, that's, well, I have, let's have a look at this. Uh, you'll see that you can set different Java options and Caref options in here. Uh, you also got all the other stuff, you know, well, uh, the docs is, contains basic documentation you want in the distribution. Not everything that's in there, but uh, the scripts we got in there and the guides we got in there and so on. So uh, data is what was previously work. So there in there we'll, we'll get all the data used by Kyrav, uh, or rather used by Opencast in ETC. Let's have a look at this. Lie all our configuration keys. Um, you will notice that, well, if we have a look at this, it's not so nice. So uh, you've noticed before that I sent this in the email that at some point we should probably organize this a bit more. It works, but uh, it could be nicer. And for example, before uh, all of these files have been in the services software directory and so on. Um, yeah, about the other files, well, um, lib and system are used for the libraries. I actually can't really remember uh, what the uh, difference was, but in one of them lies the opencast things and in one of them lies the care thing. And yeah, license notices and readme are just the uh, legal stuff and so on. So if we want to start opencast, well, if we want to start opencast, I should for before start active MQ. Still required, as you probably guessed, and then we can start opencast. And here we go. And one thing that you probably notice here is, well, you don't see all the logs. Uh, we could change it in the configuration. The default configuration for Caref is to have it like this. You also uh, have a logs command to list them, or you can just have a look at where is it? there. Um, let's go down a bit. So let's have a look at assemblies, see all in one assemblies that we are currently running. Target the open cost folder, the open cost folder, so, uh, data and logs and in here you'll see we have our current opencast log and uh, well can have a look into this and well uh, this is what you literally know so if we make this a bit smaller it's well you know all of this and you can also follow this using tail minus f so if we now process something, so let's head to local host port 8080 as usual, and we'll see OpenCast is actually running. So, well, we could process something or something. Uh, well, we don't want that. Okay, let's stop OpenCast. You can't stop OpenCast anymore, which is Control C. Um, Easy use, log out, or uh, well, OSGI shutdown should work, uh, or just hit Control D. 
and as usual it takes a second but then um, cast is down again. So let's close this one. Um, yeah, if we would have a look at the data folder you also see that in here there is the usual cache folders and so on. Um, yeah, that's basically it I think.